Well, that was a little bit awkward. Thermostat housing's cracked. I don't know why Volkswagen decided to make a plastic thermostat housing. Man, that is bad news bears. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Well, the plan was to go to the range and then maybe catch some fish afterwards. But I don't, doesn't look like that's gonna happen now. My car was just recently in the shop and I asked them to fix it and they didn't do it. Although I can't be too upset at the problem because I brought my car in for some other reasons which they did fix and the shop, we know the shop through my job and we refer a lot of business to him and he basically fixed my car for free. So I can't complain too much but I did tell him to fix this problem and he didn't do it. He just told me to trade this thing in. So I'm a little upset about that. You know what? I think we're going to roll with it. I got three gallons of coolant in here so if I have to top it off, I gotta top it off. I'm not driving that far anyways. At least my AC works. So like mid commute to the range, I realized that I should probably, oh, holding a camera and driving a stick is not easy. I pretty much came to the conclusion that I should take this opportunity and just fix the car myself. So I turned around, I'm heading to the Volkswagen dealership to see how much a factory thermostat housing is going to cost. It's probably going to be way too expensive. I don't even know. I don't even know how much this little piece of crap part is going to cost. And not to mention all the hoses that connect to it are completely dry rotted and leaking too. So this isn't going to be fun. I'm in a pretty bad mood right now. So, if, I'm a, if I seem a little lackluster in this video, uh, yeah, it's because I'm, I'm pretty butthurt from my car right now. Thanks, Volkswagen. Thank you so much for making plastic parts that like to dry up and crack. Thank you. Okay, so I got out of there pretty... I got out of there cheaper than I thought it was... 78.89. I thought this thing was going to be like over 100 bucks, but uh, still, for a piece of plastic that's pretty damn expensive, don't buy Volkswagen. Don't do it. Well, you know what? I take that back. If you're going to buy a Volkswagen, get a brand spanking new one. Buy the biggest warranty you possibly can get, and as soon as that warranty runs out, sell it. You don't want anything to do with these vehicles pre-owned, older than. You know, a couple of years, they just, they suck. This car has given me nothing but problems ever since I got it. I should never have bought this car. This right here, look at this right here. A hose, 3328. The dealership is such a ripoff. I need the parts today. I can't order these things online and look for a cheaper price. So it is what it is. So all this excitement has got me freaking starving. So I'm gonna go pick up some food and take that back to the house, let the car cool off and then take this thing apart. Hopefully I can fix it in time to salvage this day and still go fishing. I don't, you know, my original plan is not going to happen, but maybe we'll do that tomorrow. But I still, I just, I want to, I need to catch a fish now. I'm dealing with this piece of crap vehicle. I just, all I want to do is catch fish. I don't care what it is. I'll catch bluegill. I'll catch shiners. I don't care. I just want to go fishing after I'm done with this piece of crap. I don't care what anybody says. People, they rant and rave about public subs, yada, yada, they're the best, they're the best. Especially if they're not from here, they they just don't know. They don't know the goodness of Las Patas. See, my mood's automatically changed. I'm already in a better mood because of a Las Patas sub. Haven't even eaten it yet. I'm just sitting here in its presence, basking in its glory. Las Patas kicks every sub shop's ass, hands down. Public, Subway, whatever, whatever. Oh, gotta go. Once I get back to the house, I'll show you how awesome it is. And then once we're finished with that, as long as the car has had ample amount of time to cool, hopefully we'll get this thing fixed and salvage this day 
can catch a bass. Or anything, any fish. Now, a bass, preferably. I mean, heck, I'd like to catch a 100-pound tarpon right now, but I'll take a bass. We'll go with the bass. I bet you guys have never seen a sub like this before. Look at all the layers. Oh, it's so good. Oh, that is the best sub you'll ever have in your life. So if you end up going to Las Patas, get the either Mama Las Pata or the Monster. Those are their two best subs that they make. You will not be disappointed. All right, so I'm gonna finish this thing and uh, let the car cool off a little bit longer and hopefully fix it in time to uh, salvage a little bit of this day, catch a decent fish. That's all I'm asking for today. <laughs> Lunch was awesome. Taking apart the Volkswagen. Big piece of crap vehicle this is. So the problem that I'm having is right here. And of course the water neck, it's way, way in there. And in pure Volkswagen fashion, it is in this tiny, tiny little crevice. So this is gonna be fun. Come on, join me. Come along while we fix the biggest piece of crap vehicle in the world. Eat your vegetables, eat your vegetables, eat your vegetables. Oh, there we go. Just break it. Well, I found the problem. That is the piece of plastic that is cracked. Which, if we look at the new piece, is this. I mean, seriously, this is like vital. All the coolant goes through this. I mean, why would you make it out of plastic? Plastic clearly becomes brittle over time and breaks. Especially when you're cycling it hot and cold. Why would you just make this, why wouldn't you make this out of metal? So here's one of those pieces that broke off of the uh, that water neck that I took out. Let me just show you how brittle it is. You know, from the hot and cold cycles, eventually plastic will weaken. I barely put any I barely I barely used any effort on that and it just broke. So once again, thanks Volkswagen. All right, so we are halfway there. Well, almost halfway. I'm going to spray some uh brake clean and clean all this crap up, but those two hoses, that hose, and then there's two vacuum lines. And I gotta bolt it back in, which is gonna be a pain in the butt because the bolts are buried way up there on the cylinder head. So that's nice. I'd say we're two hours away from fishing. All right, moment of truth. All right, everything looks good up here. That's old. Ignore that. Don't see any drips. Reservoir's holding coolant. Alright, I think we're good to go. So I'll take it for a test drive and uh, catch some fish. Alright, so. Oh. Yeah, a lot of activity already. Let's get a time check. It is 6.38. So started working on my car around 3.30, so three hours from tear down to fish. Not too bad. So I'm throwing a uh, Mark Pack or a Impact, yeah, Impact, Impact, whatever, however you want to pronounce it, Jig. I haven't actually fished these guys before, and then I got a uh, Gambler uh, Burner Crawl on the back. Something chasing bait right over here. Oh, bit. Oh, that's a decent fish. Oh, it came right off. Damn it. <coughs> oh, I just had them skin hooked. Do you see that, guys? Oh, well, there'll be others. Man, that was an okay fish. That looked like maybe a two pounder. Got another one. <coughs> see if he comes back. Oh, 
Oh, I can't tell how good he's got it. Not that good. Damn it. Okay, so I'm 0 for 2? You've got to be kidding me. Okay, I'm, I'm getting frustrated now. Legs got ripped off. Great. All right, I'm not fishing these impact jigs anymore. That's three fish. Three consecutive fish that I just lost. There we go. Old Faithful. Come on, where are you at? Oh my gosh. There's a little, I don't know. It looks like a little like mine cichlid or something. Oh, you guys, did you see that? Oh, did you see it? Oh, he missed it though. He missed it. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any luck today. No matter what, car, fish. That was about the same size fish as uh, the other two. Three, the other three, excuse me. Oh my gosh. Come on, where are you? Okay, okay. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what to do. God, when these fish hit, they're like, it's like I, I'm getting hung on a rock, but I can see my line moving off. I just don't think they're not getting a good purchase on the entire bait. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna see if I can just, just reel tight and maybe hook up that way. Get in here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, I got one. Oh, oh, hey, hey, buddy. Hey, calm down there. I just probably dislocated your jaw or you dislocated it yourself. There we go. Guess that's all it took. Oh, nice fish. Oh, look at that. He's got a little sore on him. And over there too, it looks like maybe he got hit by something. What would hit him though? I mean, not a snakehead, unless it was like a 15 pound snakehead or something. This is about the average size for this lake too. About the size of those three other fish. Four, three, I, I don't know. I lost count of how many fish I just missed. Anyways, see you later. Yes. I don't know. I, I caught one. I finally caught one. I finally freaking caught a fish and I don't know what to do with myself right now. I'm so hyped up. Man, that fish is, oh look, an egg. Let me get another one. Another five, at least. Oh. See, I don't think that's a good cast. They seem, they're they hitting fish right here, right at this freaking drop off. You know, I'll make two casts each. I'll do one on the bottom and then one close to the surface. Come on, baby, where are you at? Hopefully these fish reset over here, the ones that I missed. There's one. A little bit smaller, I think. Okay, it came right off too. Jeez, I'm not getting, I'm not getting a good hook set on these fish, but I got them. I just got them in. No, I, I did get some penetration. Okay, a little bit smaller. That's number two, baby. Yes. Well, the key just seems to be to reel into it. Hopefully we can keep it up. Oh, that was a rock. That, damn, I, that was a rock. I feel like some JJ's would be the bomb right now, but hopefully the chartreuse on this at least helps it stand out a little bit. Okay, there we go. Oh, and you guys have seen me fish that before. The uh, melon shad, easy swimmer. I like to use more, a little more of a contrasting color than this, but I don't know. I think that pairs up pretty nicely. All right, let's make a cast out this way just to cover our bases, but there's all this limestone and stuff right down here, as you could see. Well, I hope you could see that. 
and they like to hide in these little potholes and just come out and ambush fish. There's something chasing bait right there. So we'll back up and make a cast there too. Just gonna creep it past this limestone. Hopefully pick up a fish. That's limestone. There's a bass. Oh man, there's a bass. Oh, he just nibbled on it. He just, oh, I don't know if, I hope you guys saw that. I don't know if feeding time is over or what, if, did I? Nope. Oh. Don't jump, buddy. Okay. Ah. <coughs> uh, maybe I shouldn't do that. Man, 722, I don't got much time left to fish. Normally I'd try a new place, but being that I had such a little time to fish, I decided to hit up a place that I know produces. All right, come on. Let's get like a nice five. There's biggins in this lake too. Oh, he's strong. That one's strong. Came off. Okay, nothing to get in my way now. No weed guard, no blades, no big fat bait. I'm gonna jack the next fish that bites this so hard. <coughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, what? The bait slipped down and stabbed itself in the head. I am saying some very bad words in my head right now. Fish. How do you like that? I told you there was toads in here. Guys, I hope you could see this fish. That's a nice one. Yeah, this one's definitely spawned out. It's got the head of like a six, but yeah, she doesn't have a whole lot of fat in her tail and the belly. Oh yeah, that's an empty, empty belly. See, look at that. Oh, well. Switched to the smallest bait and the most do-nothing bait, and I caught the biggest fish. That figures. All right, girl. Let's get back. Let's get you back. All right, come on, baby. See you later. Oh. It is now 7.47, and my Facebook friend Erica has joined Offer Up. That has been a day. Car trouble, it was a pain in the butt to replace that water neck on the Volkswagen. I must have lost, I don't know, it feels like I lost like 10 fish and I caught three. And the last one was the best one. I'm gonna keep fishing until it's dark, but I gotta close out this video, so one second. <sighs> Man. So if you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for sticking with me. Uh, you know, I wasn't sure if I was gonna record any of this, but I figured I'd show you guys what happens in my life, I guess. You know, when you watch a lot of YouTube anglers, you don't get to see like the dirt, the real life stuff. It's all just, you know, fun and games and catching fish nonstop. Well, you know, at least I can't speak for you know some of the more popular guys but for myself I mean I got a full-time job and I got bills to pay got car to fix you know I just it's I got real life problems and you know I figured I'd show you what I got to go through to be able to get to my fishing spots if I don't have a running car obviously that's not gonna happen 
But thank you for sticking with me. Thank you so much for watching. At least I got out and caught a couple fish. At least makes it all worth it. You know, I had plans to fish earlier and that was thwarted by this thing dumping coolant all over the place. So really, thank you guys so much. I really, really mean it. So if you feel like I deserved it, hit that subscribe button and uh, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much again. Peace. Yank you off.